What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Sky Factory 3. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How you doing, XP? <laughs> I'm doing all right. How about you? Hey, can't complain. Can't complain. We're full. We got bright red armor. What more could we need? How about a dragon? So last episode, oh. we were talking about the dragon. We're like, it would be awesome if we could mount it and ride it and fly around with it. And it's gone. And it's gone. But we got a compressed sheep. I forgot. <laughs> Did you see <laughs> the compressed the dragon? sheep? No, I didn't see the compressed sheep, but uh, I forgot that we stored the dragon in the lasso. There it is. Awesome. I completely <laughs> forgot we did that. <laughs> I just killed the compressed sheep. Oh, it, it, just, it, oh, it just exploded? An exploded gin of sheep. So, our dragon here, yeah, it turns out you tame it with fish, and then it gets the hearts, and you have to do it a few times, I guess, and then you throw a saddle on it, and then, yes, you can actually mount the dragon and fly it! Well... Hypno can since he's a big meanie head like that. Yeah, apparently it seems like these dragons are only tied to one person. I don't know. We haven't tried. You haven't tried giving my dragon fish. Maybe it'll like you after you do that. I don't know. And then when you ride it, like your character stays in like where you were. Like it's it's weird. I think that's just a multiplayer thing, right? That might happen with boats Probably. and stuff too. I don't know. But anyway, um. For now, since the dragon's like eating our animals, we're just kind of like storing it in the safari net and just putting it in the system. <laughs> or not safari net, the uh, the lasso. Yeah. We also built a blaze spawner. Yeah, we just got done doing a blaze spawner. Uh, we were needing blaze rods and stuff. Where are you at? Oh, you're over there? I, I was doing this. I was looking at both. Showing ah. the <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, so we built a blaze bar. We've been running low on blaze rods and going to the nether and just like farming up 20 or 30 of them at a time. That's pretty annoying. Yeah, so now we got thousands. Now thousands. we have all of the blaze rods. Stacks on stacks. Yeah, so this set up stacks to be uh, precise. That's set up exactly the same as the other one, right? Except it's got blaze lamps instead of the other lamps. The redstone yeah. lamps. Yeah, yeah there's no cool. wither lamps, so... <laughs> Whoa, you go a little robot there. Oh, did I? Yep, just a little bit. That's fine. You're clear. Clear. Okay, so what's the game plan for today, XP? Uh, well, we, we hooked up all these solar panels because we're, we're getting just like tons of extra power. Mm-hmm. Right? And so we hooked those into the main power grid, um, which makes it so that our big reactor actually never turns on. Um... And it keeps our, our power full all the time. <laughs> and so we were like, well, maybe we should store some more. So we, you know, at first we, you know, we could have just done, you know, some more of these, right? Yeah, we could, we could. But those are ugly. Honestly. I mean, we do have well, Draconic Evolution in here. It's got a pretty cool looking one, right? Yeah. Yeah, it does. And it uses these things. Bam, Ooh. bam, 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 bam. <laughs> Error 404, core not found. <laughs> Can you vein mine these? Yep. Okay. I'll let you handle that stuff. So apparently the right. whole core thing, the energy storage or kind of evolution has changed in 1.10. So we're going to be checking that out. Mm -hmm. We're going to have a big ball of energy in the other Chico. So it also goes up to a tier 8 now, which is kind of crazy. We can't afford it, but, uh, yeah, the tier, set, well, okay, we can hold 45 million at tier 1, 273 million at tier 2, all the way up to 2.14 trillion at tier 7, and then tier 8, like, do you really need more than 2 trillion RF? <laughs> I don't know. But I think right, I'd so like to check that out at some point. What we're going to do is we're going to replace... This this draconic evolution crafter guy, mm -hmm. right? Do you think that's good? That's good. Uh, well, do you want the Looks ball good. going through the roof or sitting on top of the roof? I would kind of like partially to go through, but then I was looking, and that might get in the way of things in mm -hmm. the future. So, okay, I think just sitting above, like right there, that should be. Ish. How many blocks is that? One, two, three, four, right. five, six. So that's seven up. That should be okay. Sure. I think. Should be. 
it should be high enough for tier seven or eight, I guess. Uh, maybe, hopefully. If not, we can we can move it, it. <laughs> or bust out the ceiling and build it. <laughs> okay, so apparently, what we have to do is we have to surround it. I have red, all the redstone, by the way. <laughs> all of, oh, you do literally have all of our redstone. I have all the redstone. <laughs> You want to toss me a block or two? Yeah, just a sec. Okay. Uh, and bleh, bleh, bleh. So I literally right, just so got done setting up one of these tier sevens today in my live stream. So I kind of have an idea of, I don't think it's changed, right? It, no, it shouldn't. I think you go out. I think you go out three from the center and all sides. Something like this. Well, you gotta fill in those spots, don't you? You have to fill in what? The I mean, add, yeah, yeah, yeah. Add in more redstone, but I think it's the fastest way to place the blocks right now. Because it, it ends up just being a big square, right? No, 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 right, right. So you got to surround, like, the base yeah. of these things with redstone blocks. Go all the way around each one of these things oh, we just did. Right, 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 right. Okay. Do, 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 do. Uh, yeah, I don't think this multi-block structure has changed at all. It would be kind of weird if it did. It should be the exact same thing as in 1.7. Yeah, so we do that, and then we do one more layer around... Like from here to here. Ooh, not like that. Uh, not like that. Oh, we don't need these corner ones. Yeah, I don't think you put on the corner ones. That'll be the draconic stuff, the draconium. Right. Yeah, I haven't built one of these since ultimate. No, not ultimate. Um, infinity. So. <laughs> yeah, that's been a been a little bit of time, I think, right? Since Infinity, yeah, yeah. it's been quite a while. It was the Hermit Hermitcraft Infinity, so. All right, I a, think oh, we missed some up here. Got an extra block over here, I think. Yeah, that block's extra. Yeah, so I think the rest of those we just replace, or we just uh, fill in with um, the draconium. All right. So here is draconium. Ooh, these look different, these draconium blocks. They're actually kind of nice. It's like a bluish purple, kind of. Purpley, purpley blue. Almost looks like it's di like a, almost a different color depending on how you look at it. It's weird. What is that like a pearlescent kind of a thing or whatever? Yeah. And yeah, it's like a oh, I keep placing these in the wrong spot. Psh, this freaking guy making more work for us. I know, I know. Trying to trying to do it right, and I'm not. Nope. I mean, I don't know if I'm doing it right. I'm assuming I am, but... Yeah, you just basically place it on all the spots that are redstone. I'm out. Now, uh, if I remember correctly, like, we had these corners blank. I think these corners need uh -oh. to be filled in. Uh-oh, what? Uh, I ran out of blocks. How did you run out of blocks? I don't know. Didn't I had either? the exact number we needed. Uh, <laughs> there I we think go. we have some in corners where we don't need it, maybe? Uh, well, we do have some in the corners. What... I'm not sure if that's where they're not. I think that's what it is. Hmm. Because I think it's just supposed to cover. Yeah, that gives me three blocks. Okay, well. Yeah. I guess we need to get the ring stabilizers here and figure it out and see if that'll turn into a multi-block. Yeah. So we'll go... 
in line like right there. You going out four blocks? I'm going out just above the it's actually three blocks. Well, it's on the fourth block. Yay. Want to toss me some of those? Uh. Okay. Yeah, I've never seen these multi-block things set up. This is definitely new for 1.10 or whatever. At least this version of Dracon Draconic Evolution. Oh, you went a little robot -y. I think the TS may be having issues. Yeah, that might be. You were, you were sending robot for a little bit there. We might actually be able to just leave. Well, no. The bottom of the ball is... <laughs> so I think we got to right-click one of these things. Hold on. Got to take out all the blocks. There we go. Okay, so you okay. right-click on it, it comes up with a thing that says Tier 1 Energy Core Invalid. Great. Oh, Tier Up? Stabilizers. Tier yeah. Up, Tier Up, Tier Up, Tier Up. Core Valid. Activate. Oh, this has a build guide. Oh, does it? <laughs> well, we got it anyway. Oh, baby. Oh, that that looks bad. awesome. That's pretty baller. Oh, my goodness. This is really good. Okay, All so, right, so now... where does it tell us how much power is in this? Oh, okay, so you have to right click on one of these things and it tells you the charge. 2.14 trillion. That's a so little I bit guess of power. These guys can just come up. In yon corners, yeah. Oh, uh, what guys? Energy pylons. Oh, we need glass for those. Yeah, in the previous versions, like you could keep this within like seven blocks of the coral. It doesn't have to be in line with it. You could have it on the roof or maybe even inside you, the building. What are you talking about? The energy pylons? Oh, yeah. Well, it just looks better when it's. Oh, okay. If you're doing it for aesthetics, sure, sure. Yeah. And then I'm going to do that one, and then kitty corner over here. You said you don't have the glass. I will grab some. Because we need one for in, one for out, right? Uh, I do believe so. so, yep. Well, that looks kind of nice, too. That's been changed a bit. There she blows. I guess the one closest to the base... The inside of the base will be the output, and this will be the input here. There we go. So now we just need to get one of our flux plug things on there and start filling it up. Yay, it's attached. All right, so one of these... Wait, you said... Wait. Okay, orange is out, right? Orange is out. Okay. Oh, that's nice. See, that just makes the build underneath look so much better. Oh, I didn't set the thing. I was like, why is that not working? Because we got to do this button. Oh, no, I did that wrong. This needs to be set to it's not power. our power generation. Oh. Yep, yeah, and the other one needs to be set to the SF3 power out when we put a point on here. Or a flux plug. Uh, I will make a flux plug. It's not getting power now. What's not getting power? Oh, there it goes. Okay. Yeah, well, the core, the storage wasn't getting power there for a bit. Hmm. Is it night? Or is it turning night? Or is it turning day? It is daytime. Just weird the stars are out. Okay. So, does it say how much we're getting in? Yeah, 174k in. Wow, we're that's a lot. Like almost 200 million 
energy. Energico. We're at 0.01% full. <laughs> ah, that's great. I love it. Okay, so our capacitor bank I am draining out. I set the flux plug on there to be part of our power generation, so we should be seeing a lot more power going into this thing. We're draining all those vibrant capacitors down there. 433k. Yeah, that's a decent amount. And wait, so is the... Did the well, no, the reactor wouldn't kick on yet, huh? Um, no, it's not generating power. It's it's waiting till the capacitor bank gets low. Yeah, so we're going to have to figure out how we're going to hook this thing up off of this. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it might be one of those things where we just leave it on all the time until this thing's full and then we'll just turn it off and just wait until we run low on power kind of a thing. I'm pretty sure you can automate the power in and out of these, but I don't know. I've done something like that with computer craft before, but I don't, I don't, do we even have computer craft in this? Like if, if you hook hmm. a cable up to one of these pylons. Right. And then slap that little, that thing that you're controlling it with now yeah. up to it. That should read how much is in it, right? Uh, theoretically. I'm curious. Did you grab a conduit? I mean, at least that's what it seems like it would do. I mean, I don't know. We're at, we're, we're at a billion RF. This is reading exactly the same way. Yeah, it says 2.147 trillion. Nice. So we should be but able to set a actually, thing for the redstone, yeah. Do you actually need the conduit? Uh, yeah, it has to be on a conduit. Uh, we can make another one of these pylons and kind of tuck it away somewhere. I guess still inside the building and use this thing the same way. Mm -hmm. Or on that lower level. Well, because the, the pylons have to be with, I believe, within 16 blocks of the core. Right. So. Ah, that's so cool, though. This is <laughs> yeah, very, so very power. cool. So much power. Now we're going to have to figure out what we're going to do with the infusion crafting injector things we'll probably have to make another platform mm -hmm. or something like that for that but throw it off the freaking edge <laughs> <laughs> feed it to the dragon is this thing still charging up like okay well, of i think course our... it's still charging well, I, I meant my cap i meant the capacitor down here i meant is this thing oh. empty yeah this thing's yeah, all done empty. now So we can tear this guy bank. out. Mm -hmm. You've been a good friend. You did what you needed but to do. Time to go. And it's gone. Mm-hmm. We have something much cooler looking. It, I, I, you know how I said that, you know, it, it looks kind of cool, or it would look kind of cool floating? Yeah. I kind of feel like it needs something now. You feel like it needs some kind of a structural support? Well, at, on, on these sides, yeah. Just for these little... For the, for the roundy bits here? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It needs something there. I don't know. We'll I just to, I don't know what. <laughs> we'll have to figure that out, that's for sure. Um, yeah. The only thing right, I have on me is redstone for building blocks. But yeah, we could definitely do something like... Um, oh, we still got all these things in the way. I wonder if we did something like this where we kind of like surround it in blocks. Uh, yeah, that's what I was, yeah, yeah, I don't know, oh, yeah. Just yeah, something like that, maybe? Yep. Well, I mean, you know, with the support coming down, obviously. Well, yeah. yeah. Something like that, yeah, that could kinda, look kind of cool. That kind of add deer is... Yeah, but like I said, it's not something I'm going to figure out right now, but... Right. Oh, did you see it from in here? A little bit. A little bit. It's pretty glorious. It is like right above the glass. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is really cool. And once we uh, upgrade it to the next tier, it's going to be like incredibly In close. It might poke through the glass a little bit. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure because it it's only got like one block between the glass and the core. Ah, okay. Okay. So. 
And I think the, the next one, it, it's double the Draconian blocks, and I think double the redstone blocks. It's right? a lot of blocks. Oh, we didn't s tell the, the peeps that we, uh, we made Draconium seeds. <laughs> so yeah, we have a thousand Draconium essence coming in, and like eight of those will turn into two ingots. So yeah, we have a lot of Draconium. That's how we're getting it from now on. By the mm -hmm. time we need more of it, we should have like all the Draconium, which is going to be amazing. Yeah, for the tier eight, I really don't look forward to doing that mm. ever. Hopefully, we can figure out a way to automate it. To automate that's the a fusion lot. crafting. Well, I, I think we can. I bet. You know what? Do we have a mechanical user in here? We do. Mechanical user. Let's grab just some random block. And if we set. Say this guy down there mm -hmm. with an item, right? Place block, use item on block, right click. Hmm. Wait, can you actually click cobblestone onto that? Yes. I wonder if you can pipe in, use a hopper or something like that. Oh, okay, I got it. Oh, yeah. you got it. Yeah. How'd you do it? Uh, it was use item. Use item, right click, left slide only. Oh, okay. Oh, wait. wait, what's... Place block, use item on block, activate with block, use item. I guess it just but like, it only... takes a second. Yeah, it's only doing it once. And then if I, oh, okay, it probably needs speed, hold on, speed upgrades. But that is one way to, you know what, we should test if we can pipe into it. Because that <laughs> might be another said a way second to... ago. Well, yeah, uh, that's what I was yeah. reiterating that we should. Um, That's what I was in the middle of, is you're like, oh, we got to go, and I was like, oh, cool. Yeah, I want to check if we get a hopper into one. Let's put a piece of glass. Yep, looks like you can hop her directly into them, so you can pipe in these things. Hmm. So, yeah, we could probably... What we really need to do is automate the dragon. <laughs> That's what we need to do. Automate the dragon? Yeah. Oh, because we're going to need more hearts, right? Aha, uh -huh. so it's activate block with item. <laughs> the energy core kind of pushes you a little bit, I'm noticing. So if we have this, yeah, yeah, so we can, we can do it. We got, we got technologies. We got different we got, ways of doing it. Yeah. Ah, oh, this freaking rain. Mm-hmm. I mean, at least it doesn't kill or we're still putting in 120k. Even in the rain. That, oh, yeah. The, the, How much do we have? We have 2.1 billion RF. This is so good. The big reactor still isn't running. Oh, it won't run because the uh, redstone signal came from that thing, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, we got power storage set up. I think we were okay with power. We're going to have to do a little bit of building to get this thing to look a little bit nicer, and we'll have to figure out where we're going to put all the infusion crafters. The fact that we know that we can sort of automate it now, that's going to be amazing that... Uh, we can do that. Automating the dragon. I don't know if that's going to be possible, but definitely I would like to see a lot of hearts so we can make a lot of the awakened draconium because that would be amazing. Yeah, we're well, that's what I'm saying. We gotta, there's got to be a way to do it. Right, right. I mean, other than vanilla ways. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, I think we are about out of time for this episode, XP. Really? Yep, it is that time. It is that time. All right. Well, we did a thing. We definitely did a big thing over here. <laughs> pretty, pretty gloriously, I might add. <laughs> it's definitely pretty amazing looking. Yeah. All right, but that's it for today. Thanks for watching, guys. See, See you ya. next time.